Every time Maureen and Joanne join us from Mojo Design Incorporated, we learn something new on how to declutter our lives or accentuate our spaces. Ladies, welcome back. Thank, Thank you. you. We gave you an assignment about 10 minutes ago, <laughs> uh, and we didn't necessarily have to clutterify our kitchen because it just tends to happen, doesn't it, in, yes. in rooms like that? Yes. yes. Everywhere you go, we all have a ton of stuff on our, on our refrigerator. We have school schedules. We have, you know, magnets from wherever you've traveled throughout the world. My wife has been trying to teach me the art of cleaning as I go in the kitchen, and it's something that I'm awful at. But why don't we get to exactly what you did in our kitchen? We would be so lucky if we could keep it looking like this, but tips to sort of declutter your kitchen. Where do you start? It's getting all those everyday things off of your, your counters and put them in the cupboard, like the cereal boxes, like the dish soap, the dish rags. It just, when you come home and you want to cook, then you start fresh. Everything's, you're not moving stuff out of the way or anything. I think yeah. it's like the same thing that happens to people, and I'll generalize and say men that have impressive tool collections in the garage. It's almost like you <laughs> want to display everything. That so how right. do you know you've got a knife block? You maybe want to have the knife block out, but how do you know what should be out and how do you know what should be put away? Well, the knife block should be put away from, okay. a, from a security perspective because that could be potentially dangerous for a realtor when they're showing a home. Mm. Um, so for selling, you just want to showcase the space. You want to see how much countertop you've got to work with you know if it's cluttered up people are going to think well how am I going to actually work in this kitchen isn't it amazing to yeah. see what would happen say for example a crock pot on the counter yeah. would give the perception that there was half the amount of counter space exactly. right? right okay exactly. so you're alluding to staging and selling your home why don't we take a look That's at some right. of the images uh, that you ladies have provided here mm -hmm. with some before and after images on staging take us through these if you okay will. that's a typical kitchen um, dining area and um, for this space we completely painted we got the owners to take out their existing furniture we bought in furniture to stage it look how fresh it looks a bit of a smaller kitchen table there yes. Yes. looks like more floor space That's all right right this is an empty stage so we we were able to start from scratch we didn't paint but we worked with the colors that they had mm -hmm. and it just looks amazing now with an empty room it would give the perception there's a lot of space but in this case you want to give the lifestyle in That's right. don't it's, you sometimes yeah. people can't visualize what they can put into an empty room That's okay right. let's take a look at this next example Again, a, a typical kitchen, a little bit like this one. <laughs> <laughs> You're very right. <laughs> and we took the window topper off just to uh, declutter again and give a much cleaner line. You Can we go back to the before image there for a second? It, it looked, I mean, it, it's almost like they had things lined up all along the wall there. Yeah. Just a ton of things lined up all yeah. along the wall. And that's I know, typical. And that's then you typical. brought in some artwork instead. Yes, yes. Would you suggest that in kitchens? Yeah, right. you can yeah. do that. It just adds a pop of color. Okay. Yeah. I believe we have another example that we can get to here. These are some great tips. I mean, it's just little things you can yes, do, isn't it? Yes, is. mm -hmm. Bathroom. Bathroom. Yeah. Ooh, towels yeah. everywhere. Everywhere yeah. and a... And, and not neat, not straight. I think a lot of times we live in it at daily and we get used to it and we don't see it no. by bringing somebody in like Mojo to just give you another perspective. Yeah. Wow, does it's that change It's the whole it? concept of a fresh set of eyes, yes, isn't right. it? Yes, it, it is. I have a friend uh, who is probably not watching now because he's a late riser. We always grind his <laughs> gears. He's got, he's got a medicine cabinet that's empty and then he's got every product he would ever use on his body <laughs> on the counter. Yep. And we try to figure it out and we can't, but no. uh, that would be foul number one, wouldn't stage it? for him. Uh, he he needs yes. Mojo Design. Yeah. Ladies, thank you so much for joining us. It's great to see you as always. You can find out more about what these two do by following the links on our website at our inside BT at breakfasttelevision.ca. We're back with more. Bridget's got a great morning in store. News team ready to go as well. It is